hello and welcome back to Jeanpur into India, episode 6. The A little sh status update. Uh, I found that there was a slight hissing noise in the background of the uh, microphone, so I've added a filter, so hopefully that will be gone. If there are any other audio issues, issues that come up, please update me on the comments. Alright, without further ado, let's get cracking, because the Mandate of Heaven DLC was just announced, and... We gotta finish this campaign before then. Oh, and book boarding. Immediately. What a wonderful welcome. Back to the campaign. Alright. So we have a lot of money that we're just storing away, so let's get rid of that. First, let's see. Do we have any more? Yes, we do have some more uh, centers of trade that we will want to get marketplaces on and then after that workshops I think are what we're going to be building now as we get farther into the campaign these will become more and more valuable because they increase the production which will be our main source of income especially in India all right and Rin Gata uh, Kathawar up a doab, and there we go. Okay. So, there's their first religion cha tab uh, click. And Rebel Uprising's Multani in 80%. Okay. So, let's bring back our 10,000 men from Timurid's lands. Do we want to keep this? Yes, it's in the Highlands. It's very nice. And actually, I was thinking about this during the break. After we have integrated uh, Jangladesh, we will want to uh, fabricate a claim on the Timurids, just in case Persia declares war. And that way, when they declare war, they'll give us land as when they uh, peace out. I found that the AI is much more likely to give you land if you have a claim already. And now let's get this claim on the dock. Should be an easy enough war. Royal marriage from Persia has ended. Let's get that back. And then let's declare war on the dock. All right, clear war, no one's gonna come in, but no one is gonna defend him. And Balt Istan, there we go. All right. And I'm gonna take this army back to Multan as soon as they're done, and then keep this one to siege. That way, we suffer less attrition. Oop, and there's Multan. Okay, so... Hmm, let's get... Let's see if they'll attach to us. If they do, then we can attack Multan. There we go. Nice. Thank you, vassals. Integration is a slow process. Let's make that a state. Even though it's a pretty sad state. A lot of desert. But... Garwar is a nice province, but a lot of desert. Anyway, all right, and we won the fight. Very nice. Only well, we lost like five thousand men, and we do have a bunch of mercenaries. Ah, from the last war, I'd forgotten about that. So we're gonna need to slowly replace those. Not too quickly, because otherwise the coalition that I believe we do have... No, we don't have a coalition, but they might, someone might declare war on us if we show our weakness. Plus, we're making 11 ducats anyway. But we will need to do a full-on army reorganization pretty soon. go. 
This row is still cord. Hmm. Siege of Balustan. Baltistan. Alright. Peace. Baltistan is ours. And we don't have the admin power to court. Let's bring it down to Lahore. Punjabi separatists. Yes, good idea to put them in Lahore. And you can go to Sokat. And unattach these units. Otherwise, we'll suffer attrition whenever we go into a big province. Renew influence on Kangra. Eight ducats, sure. Maybe they'll put some, invest in some development. Looks like they have. It's nice. And we want to fabricate a claim on the Timurids. Never want to have lazy diplomats. Jalsmer. Hmm. Muar and Dahundar. Hmm. We do want to do that, but first we need to uh, reorganize our army before we could start declaring wars, I think. I think that's a good plan. We are in fourth place now, which is great for our power projection. Plus 18. And are we still ahead in military tech? Yes. So I feel comfortable taking this. Land leader fire. Fortunately, with all this coring, we're not exactly powering through our economic ideas. National unrest, very nice. Okay, how many mercs do we have in here? 11,000. So let's get rid of them and immediately start building. Uh. 17-5-0. Okay. So let's build three more infantry. One more cav. And the rest cannons. And Punjabi separatists. So let's join up in Lahore. Now, cannons aren't exactly great until tech level 13, so I'm going to stop at two or three cannons, but soon we will be stocking up on them. Hajj. Absolutely. Hmm. Goal-oriented movement speed. Nice. Rituals of the Hajj. Unfortunately, we're going to gain piety. Jalsmer looks like it's going to be gone in a blink. Row is finally cord. DR kittened. Hmm. Are we ahead in Diplotech? Yes. So I was thinking, why don't we promote some cultures. I'm thinking Bihari and then Bengali. Let's, yeah. Bihari, Bengali. Bengali especially because it's such a huge culture. I mean, it's like a, it's a lot of development here. So it's good to get Bengali as an accepted culture. And also Bihari. And there we go. 16,000 Siakat. Should be pretty easy for our army. We did lose about 5,000 men. So where are we next? Ladakh. Ladakhi separatists. Kashmir. 
Body stand. Yes. Taxes. Let's lose the prestige. Are we still on the original mission? No, okay. We need to take out this little guy. Gondwana. Nice. That's a event that comes from getting having economic ideas. It'll just randomly increase your development sometimes, which is very nice. Encroachment of the Emirs. Unfortunately, I have tested it and when that was random events increase development? It does not increase institutions. You have to pay for development to do that. Barind. Barind. Where is... Barind? Ooh. Hmm. I think we're gonna have it returned and nice. Didn't get the, uh, the proc for the... Rebellion, we are unfortunately at 35% for the Emirs, which will increase our land maintenance. I am very excited for the Mandate of Heaven update coming up soon. I'm really looking forward to playing as Ming or maybe the Manchurian tribes. I do not, don't have the uh, Manchurian candidate achievement yet, so that is definitely one on the docket. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for campaigns that you'd want me to play, of course, just leave them down below. Uh, we don't need the money. And let's start fabricating on these guys. So this state... Okay, let's get... And soon we'll get your law bad. Orissa, you're... Hmm. I think I'm gonna let my manpower come back, so... Despite that small war, I think we're gonna be waiting on our manpower to be sufficient for us to, uh... go on the rampage again. Plus, I mean, look at us. We're like Northern India now. Maybe it's time to calm down a little bit. get up to that force limit. I do however want claims. And Nepal. Let's just get some claims from you. Bamanis. Ah, uh, yes. We do. Just some administrative work fabricating claims here. Because, you know, all the lands are truly ours. We've claimed them for centuries. What are you talking about? Uh. Hmm. 1499. Okay. Let's keep that in mind. For when I. When I should be improving. Uh, annexing that vassal. Also, in three days, I will be starting a Monks of Mystic campaign in uh, CK2, which, when it comes out, fortunately not exactly large enough to uh, get a developer copy, uh, media copy at the moment, so we'll have to wait for that. And then also, I'm thinking about starting a Kaiserreich uh, campaign, so if you have any ideas for that, also leave comments. All right. Economic ideas, yes. And then the new institution is going to be coming out soon. So we're going to have to watch out for that. Hmm. I really want economic ideas to be done before I improve development. Hmm.
Maybe it's time to get this last level of tech as soon as possible before the institution comes out. And then just power through economic. And keep that on an administrative national focus. And despite this guy being having a five in military, he's actually not that... He's one pip better than our heir, so no reason to get rid of him. He's a little bit below average, you know. He's not the smartest tool in the shed. I think that's a completely terrible, wasted uh, metaphor or saying right there, but, you know, you get what I mean. Bengal Delta. And let's... Now is a bad... No possible province to graphic claim on. Why can we not? Coach. Maybe we already have a claim on them? Hmm. Either way, let's wait. Ooh, and Chittagong is in the hands of Theravada Buddhists. No, it needs to be in proper Sunni hands. Unacceptable. Alright, let's get some workshops down. Um, I believe that that's iron. Hmm. Really, I just want workshops everywhere, but... Sometimes it's good to have some restraint when you're building buildings. Building buildings. What a meaningless sentence. Alright. Or repetitive, at least. Alright, let's get some barracks. Get that manpower up, because we have been having manpower troubles. Ooh, and Jean Fur. Absolutely. 1500 manpower from one building? We will take it. Night 26 2. Okay, let's just get four more cannons. Do we get 26 and 6? We'll dock these separatists. We'll stay here. It up. Put some of our men in Sialkat. And actually, how. Ah, we can definitely put troops there. And about the stem so that when they do fire, we won't have to attack into the mountains. And. 26 and 6. Hmm. I think. Yeah, we're just gonna. Get about. 4,000 infantry for these guys, and 4,000 infantry for these guys. It's going to be a very infantry heavy lineup, but, you know, it's the early game. Combat formations don't exactly matter as much early game. Later when you have cannons and you need uh, the f true front line, that's when you need to start paying attention. Alright, military tech. Very nice. And we are now suffering attrition. So let's just go to here and we will have to attack into the mountains, which is unfortunate, but I forget what the saying is, but it's something like needs must or something. Rissa is now winning the war versus Ava, so maybe they will take Chittagong. And then we can then snap it up from there. Cold dead hands. And we have very lazy diplomats. Let's fabricate a cam on Tahundar. And there's not much else to really fabricate on at the moment. All the rest are allies and people that were not really looking to attack. So let's just wait it out. Ah, I know what we can do. Improve with the Persia. 
And... Oh, Manus is looking pretty sad. Let's give him some hugs or whatever happens when you improve relations with the uh, fellow countries. What's the country version of a hug? Encircling them with your uh, with your land. I don't think that's as comforting for countries as it is for uh, humans, but you know, we're gonna do it anyway. Send in the cavalry. Making 15 ducats in a month. Very nice. And this is with very little trade income, if I remember correctly. Yeah, trade is lagging very far behind taxation and production, but one day, as soon as we can break into the Indus node, that's when our trade will skyrocket. And our money situation, which is already pretty good. And we're almost in 1500. So the first, oh, of course not a full century, but first century will be down. Hmm. We are out of state slots. No, it always seems like it's impossible to fill those state slots at the beginning, but then as soon as you start expanding, state slots seem to be smaller and smaller. Alright. We do not want to take that attack. Uh, maybe we do we just want to power through the Ministry of Tech. Institution spread would be very nice for buying institutions. And let's decide which province we want to increase the next institution in. Well, okay, there we go. Solved it. It looks like cotton also lowers development costs, so that will be incredibly cheap for a very nice province. And the, the benefit, of course, is that it's directly next to Jean Per, which means that as soon as we get this one to have the institution, it'll immediately spread to Jean Per and give us even more, less money when we have to buy the institution. And let's get the claim on Dundar. Twenty-one ducats a month. Not bad. And let's get two cav for both armies. Persia. Are there, is there anyone? Does Ming want to be our friend? No, he's our rival. Come on, Ming. I never understand why Ming rivals whatever Indian power becomes dominant. It's not like they ever really threaten each other, until later at least. But I guess there will be no Indian-Chinese alliance. Kinda like real life. Alright, let's get some... Taxation. Hmm. Knuckleland. Sinsugar. Cigar. There we go. And it looks like that's going to be the episode here. So, wasn't exactly the fast, the most exciting of episodes. You know, kind of just recovering from the last war where we took a lot of land. And uh, getting ready for the next inst institution to fire. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please come back and uh, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Alright, bye.